I'm here to share my 20 plus years of knowledge from my other career as a professional pet stylist, also known as a groomer. My goal for this tutorial is to make grooming easier and less painful for dogs and the people who love them. I want to save you from the anxiety caused by bad haircuts, grouchy groomers, and the silly, endless war against tangles. I believe that confusion about tangles, mats, brushing, combing, and in fact, all aspects of coat care are common causes of upset and bad haircuts. Before the hair starts to fly, we need to demystify the Ligoti coat, unravel the mystery of tangles, discuss the past and future of Ligoti hairstyles, and finally, get a groomer's perspective. If you can become familiar with some of the words used in the grooming world, you have a better chance of communicating your wishes. Okay, dog hair demystified. Ligoti share some characteristics with their German relatives, the poodle. They both have hair, not fur. This trait makes them less troublesome to people with allergies and also explains why they shed so much less than dogs with fur. This type of coat continues to grow longer all of the dog's life, like a person's hair. The Poodle and the Legoto breeds date back centuries, but the Poodle has been popular worldwide for decades. They're one of the most commonly groomed breeds seen by pet groomers. If a Poodle's hair is not trimmed, they can grow very long, with a tendency for stringy mats that look pretty rough. Poodle haircut styles popular today require that the coat be combed out, free of curls and tangles, then trimmed to a velvety smooth finish. Why am I talking about poodles? Because groomers know poodles. Let's meet a poodle. Okay, here is my friend Gabe. He is a five-year-old miniature poodle, and I thought that it would be informative for us to look at the difference in how poodles are styled. So let's have him stand. Good boy, good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, and, and, uh, and I, I, I wanna tell you a neat story. People think that, that poodle styles were designed in order to make poodles look funny uh, and that they're sort of laughable with their you know, little lumps and bumps and shaved places. But the truth of it is, is that poodles have been used for ages as hunting dogs, water hunting dogs. And because their hair is infinite, it grows and grows and grows. I think what happened was they found that the, the hair became an impediment to the dog's ability to swim. So they started cutting hair off in places that they thought would help. What they ended up with is leaving the hair over the lungs and the heart and on top of the head and on the joints, the wrists and the ankles of the dog so that they didn't get arthritis. So that's the justification for making poodles funny looking. But for the purpose of our conversation, um, what, what, the point that I'd like to, to uh, make to you is that when we groom poodles, his coat is very curly, just like a Legoto's coat. Uh, and then when he was bathed and blow dried, I worked at getting all the curls out. So they're all stretched out. Then I can take scissors and come right along the top of the hair and scissor it so that it is exactly the same length. And it looks like velvet. The reason that we can do that is because the hairs are like springs. I like to think of them as springs. And since we've got all the springs opened, when I trim them, they're all being trimmed to the same length. So I can shape his hair. Well, the difference with this and the Legoto's coat is that the, the, the Legoto has much curlier, thicker hair. And it does not stay stretched out as well as a poodle's coat. So that's why if we go to all the trouble to bathe, brush out, comb, and blow dry the Legoto's hair so that we could finish it like this, he looks like a poodle. Poodles, poodles uh, uh, are their, po their popular haircuts are to have them look smooth like this. But this is, this is a different te technique than we're gonna use for the Legoto. But this is what I mean by when we say trim to a smooth velvety finish, where when you look at it, it, is, it there's no hair sticking out, it's all the same length. And that's not the way we groom Legodos. But since poodles have been the bread and butter of the pet grooming industry for decades, we have a lot of experience with curls. When groomers see curls, we want to uncurl them. It's the only way to achieve a smooth finish. When you straighten out the curls, you can trim them to the same length. If you leave curls curly, 
Well, you have the Lagoto Romagnola. They need to be groomed differently than poodles and doodles, but without an update, groomers will do what they know. Our Italian babies are easier to groom if we work with the nature of the hair instead of trying to straighten it. If groomers are unfamiliar with the novel idea of leaving the Lagoti curly, they will struggle to uncurl them. Lagoti have a coat which is prone to knitting together due to how soft it is. In review, tangles are small, mats are big, and pelting is matted over a large area, but they all mean that hair is stuck together. Throughout the history of the Lagoti breed, the dogs grew thick pelts looking like adorable, dirty little sheep. This is the origin of the Rustica style still required in the confirmation show rings around the world, minus the dirty. I have found that living with dogs in show condition, Rustica, does not fit into my lifestyle. When the dogs have this much hair, they're harder to take care of and dirtier to live with. We experimented for years with different lengths and haircuts, trying to balance the looks of the rustic style with a modern day trim that lets my dogs be dogs, but still lets me live in a reasonably clean house. A Legato guardian or stylist that's unfamiliar with the idea of leaving the dog matted over a part of the year might try to keep it untangled. The longer and thus thicker the hair length, the more difficult it becomes to keep the hair mat free. Even the most diligent guardian would need to spend hours of brushing and combing after a short walk in rain, a few seconds in a sticker bush, or even an afternoon playing with other dogs. You can't even leave a collar on a dog with this much coat. It will inevitably result in stuck together hair. No fun for man or beast. The last thing I need you to understand about mats is it is not possible to trim them partially off. Mats grow close to the skin, so if you want to cut the mat off, it has to be from underneath. Trimming over the top of mats puts you right back at having to strip the hair off short and start again. Are you ready for another option? The way to avoid the shaved matted cycle is to keep the hair trimmed to a manageable length all the time. So then if the coat is four inches long and you want it to be two inches long, you can do that. I'm going to demonstrate how keeping the coat a moderate length lets you avoid mats. Tangled or untangled? We know now that tangles, mats, and pelting are what happen when hairs stick together. The way to prevent hairs from sticking together is to separate them so regularly that they either don't form or are caught in the early stages before they stick to the hairs around them, creating a bigger mat. The bigger the mat, the harder it is to separate the hairs until finally the mat covers such a large area that it is cruel to attempt to remove it. Mats can only be removed by brushing and combing. Groomers do not have a magic wand. Dematting hurts the dog and can cause serious skin irritations. Dematting is also guaranteed to cause groomer irritations. We love dogs and don't like to hurt them any more than you do. The age old secret to having a Legoto in rustic style is that the coat would be sheared off occasionally, then allowed to grow back, which takes months. No brushing, no combing, no doggy torture. No problem, right? Well, there are a few details to consider. The hair length looks great two thirds of the time, but the other third of the time, it's shorter than most people like. During the period when the coat is long, the dogs track in lots of debris from outside. They require more frequent bathing. They can suffer huge snowballs collecting on their long hair. They get really, really wet in any rain. Plus, they look a lot like sheep. This breed is new to the US. Less than 10 years ago, the first dog was imported. The vast majority of groomers and new guardians will be unfamiliar to the specifics of the Legoto. I want to help you figure out how to have your dog's hair look out that easy to care for is more important than the way it looks. When you understand the connection between the length or style of the hair and the amount of care it takes to maintain, you can make informed decisions. This program presents four hair length options with step-by-step -step demonstrations plus a handy printable version to guide you on grooming day. If you're planning to use a professional, the printable version will be the perfect tool to support your groomer in learning trims and other helpful techniques for this breed. Let's clarify a couple of points. If you need equipment or product references, please visit our website. The next thing is, I don't mean to suggest that there are not other ways to groom a Legato. It's your dog, go for it. The only real guideline for grooming styles is that you and your dog like it. In review, here are the facts. 
If rustic is the style you like, it will have to be sheared off occasionally. It's not possible to make a matted coat a little shorter by trimming over the top. It's still matted. If you want to keep the coat matte and tangle free, it helps to keep the length manageable, which makes brushing and combing easier. The style that I've developed is long enough to have some of the characteristics of the rustic Legato, but is short enough to keep untangled, is easier to bathe, doesn't track in as much stuff, etc., etc. The cappuccino style, as I like to call it, does have its own downsides, including the need for regular haircuts about every eight or 10 weeks, plus the fact that they don't look as much like little sheep. Next, I wanna help you understand your groomer's perspective and help you learn to speak our language. First, I recommend that you always visit a groomer's shop before you schedule an appointment. Go in and visit. Did you get a good feeling about the cleanliness and friendliness? Trust your instincts. Your dog is depending on you to make a good choice. A real professional will appreciate your efforts. This first meeting may be the best time to share the information with them about your breed and preferences. If they're not interested in how to provide you with good service today, they may be unlikely to improve in the future. Your groomer will find it helpful to hear a few facts about our breed. Share some details like the fact that they are rare in the United States and new. They are a relative of the poodle and the Portuguese water dog. They have super curly hair, which tends to mat. This breed does not need to have their hair straightened. The haircut can be done over the curls. This is the perfect time to share the printed grooming guidelines. You may offer to leave it with them to keep or to review. I would bring another copy on grooming day. By having the groomer's first impression of the breed to be pictures of a nicely groomed dog, you can help them develop an eye for a nice outline. This is also a great time to help your groomer understand that you do not expect them to comb out mats. Cut them off or leave them on to cut off later, that's the plan. Let's clarify a couple of points. If you need equipment or product references, please visit our website. The next thing is, I don't mean to suggest that there are not other ways to groom a Legato. It's your dog, go for it. The only real guideline for grooming styles is that you and your dog like it. With one exception, if you plan to compete in confirmation events, in which case this program is not intended for show grooming advice.